Hi everybody, Todd Martin here again with another Practical Success Principle. Today, I want to discuss the topic of stages of life, and I want to look at it from the perspective of the four stages of development in life. Now, this could be applied to a lot of different areas of your life, financial, um, spiritual, emotional, mental, your relationships, and, and, a, and a broad variety of, of areas. But I'm going to look at it more generally um, and, and in terms of probably leaning towards uh, the area of resources and finances and how we use those things. So to start with, the first uh, stage of development is survival mode. And it's uh, that stage where you're just making ends meet. Um, you're living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, you just can't seem to get ahead. Something breaks down and you're trying to scramble to figure out where to get the money. If you lose your job, you can't afford uh, to do that and have a week or two or three off until you get another job. Uh, that's a, a survival stage of life. The next stage would be stability, where you've got a, a regular job, things are stable, you have a stable income, stable expenses, you know where you're at, you may be able to put a little bit away in your 401k, your retirement accounts, uh, and things like that. But uh, you probably still use debt to finance things, credit cards to supplement that, uh, that uh, vacation, and then you uh, pay it off because you got a stable employment, stable income, and you kind of know where you're at. So you're not really getting ahead a whole lot, but you're not getting behind, and you have a, a little buffer if something were, were to happen. Um, and then the next stage would be a stage I call success. So that would be uh, the stage where um, it's more along the lines of um, you're, you're in a place where you're not just living paycheck to paycheck. You're not just uh, working uh, for your money and trading dollars uh, and time for dollars. Um, it's where you're starting to get your money to work for you and you're starting to get some time freedom and you're starting to get um, away from trading time for dollars. Uh, maybe you own real estate properties, you have investments that are paying you, but you're working towards and getting towards and maybe you're at that point where your investments or your money is generating you enough income that you really don't need your job or your employment or your business anymore. That's all gravy at that point in time if you're still continuing to do that. The final stage is a stage we call significance. It's that stage where uh, beyond success, uh, it's that stage where you might uh, um, call it the stage of uh, uh, the most important thing in life, uh, a reflection of, of love. So this stability, survival is, is about just getting by and living till the next week. Stability is about having a uh, lifestyle, keeping up with the Joneses, having a nice car to drive and the image and, and a decent house and, and all those kind of things, kind of the middle class dream, so to speak. Uh, success is when you can step above that. Now your money's starting to make you money and you're growing a nest egg and, and you're able to get some time freedom. Maybe you can get a complete time freedom, but it's still materialistic and focused. And the fourth stage is where uh, you start to realize that at the end of the day, the materialistic things in this life really aren't going to provide you any lasting value uh, beyond what you used of that. So significance is where you realize that um, your resources could be used better to create lasting value, to create a legacy when you use it to make a difference in other people's lives, when you're showing them love, when you're doing things that are in their best interest, when you're helping them uh, with a hand up, you're providing things that, that they can't get on their own, or, or etc. A zillion different ways to do it, but it becomes a focus of life at that point that becomes much more meaningful than just acquiring stuff and being able to go on vacation and have a bigger house or a nicer car. Now here's the key. At each step in the process, there are um, the, 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 by, the tendency is to get stuck and to not move from the survival to stability stage excess. So people that are uh, stuck in survival stage tend to continue to be stuck in survival stage. If they uh, didn't have bad luck, they wouldn't have no luck at all kind of people. And they can never seem to get ahead. And, and it's largely because of their mindset. Um, and same with stability. It takes a mindset of, not the mindset, hey, hey, I need a good job and I need to go 
work and trade time for my income, but a mindset where you're going to start to try to grow some assets, grow some investments, some real estate property, grow a business and create an asset that's going to then pay you so you can separate yourself from having to manage that and do that work. Um, and so at each level of the game, there are uh, things that you have to learn mentally, emotionally, spiritually to be able to get there. And so people tend to get stuck in those stages. And when they get an opportunity to get out and to get to the next stage, they have the great tendency to self-sabotage themselves and fling them back into their previous stage. So, so for instance, lotto winners. It's a well-known statistic that in five years, the vast majority of lotto winners, despite winning millions of dollars, are dead broke again so they're buying tickets in the survival and stability stage and then they keep managing that money and spending it on things in lifestyle and and um you know extra things rather than building assets that pay them so they don't create a situation that's going to be lasting and they lose that money and they get back uh to where they started with um inheritance uh is as well so the average inheritance in this country it's not huge but it's a, it's a decent chunk of change. Uh, I think if I can remember right around a thousand or hundred, hundred thousand dollars or, or 75 or something like that, 75 to a hundred, $150,000, not a ton of money, but a decent amount to, to get started with something. But in, on average, within 90 days of people that get inheritances, they get rid of that money. They go buy a car or this, or take a vacation and poof, it's gone. And they didn't use that to get up to the next stage. So it comes down to mindset. You got to have the mindset of that next stage or you're going to fall back to your previous stage. Uh, you're going to just simply lose it if you're not prepared. So new things, um, you got to begin to, to realize that you got to think in a different way to get the next stage and to stay there. And so um, you need to educate yourself. So if you're trying to move from one stage to the next, it takes education of what's required at that next stage in life to be able to get there and stay there and keep it and move to the next stage. Otherwise, you're gonna have the great tendency to move, move back to the stage you were at before until you learn those life's lessons. And that's the primary reason that there, there are people in the world um, that have been able to develop success and resources and assets and things that build and pay them. And even when they go out and, and lose it because they have a tendency to go build it and then lose it because they didn't learn the skills and the mindset that was needed, um, they begin to, uh, they have the mindset to grow it to that point. And so they're going to work with that again and they got to change their mindset. They got to change their, their principles. Uh, they got to hang around with a different group of people that are going to teach them that so they can get it and keep it next time. Um, so anyway, I hope this was uh, some thoughtful pointers today. And as always, don't wait for it to happen. Go out and make it a great day.